In this video, we're going to describe how to disassemble a March Series 7 pump assembly. Note that the pump is designed to be serviceable and disassembling it does not void the factory warranty. Also note that these instructions are generally applicable to other March pump models. Here are a few safety notes to keep in mind while working on these pumps. The complete March Series 7 pump is somewhat heavy, so use appropriate lifting practices when handling the pump. The March Series 7 pump contains powerful magnets. Special precautions should be taken to avoid personal injury when working around the components of the pump. Persons who use a medical device or have a medical condition that may be affected by magnetic fields should not work on these pumps until they have consulted with their health care provider to determine whether they are safe to do so. Since the pump may have been pumping a hazardous liquid prior to disassembly, use appropriate personal protective equipment when working on this pump. Common examples include safety glasses and safety gloves. Consult with your company's safety policy regarding the possible need for additional safety equipment and safety related training. We're going to assume that the pump has just been removed from its installation in a working system. Before beginning disassembly of the pump, first do the following. Be sure to disconnect the pump from its power source. Next, drain the pump of any residual liquid that it may contain. This can be done by tipping the front end of the pump forward and allowing any liquid in it to run out of the pump inlet and into a suitable container. The pump assembly consists of a drive end section and a wet end section. We are going to start by removing the components of the wet end section from the drive end section. Use a 7 16th inch wrench to remove the six screws holding the wet end to the drive end. Now the wet end can be removed by pulling it straight out. You will need to pull firmly because you are also separating the magnetic coupling when performing this step. Now remove the rear housing from the front housing and then remove the impeller from the front housing. To remove the pump shaft and thrust washer from the front housing, firmly hold the front housing with one hand, grasp the shaft, and pull it out of the socket in the front housing. Do not use any tools to grasp the shaft. The thrust washer will fall out when the shaft is being removed. Be sure to save it from getting lost. You can also remove the o-ring from the rear housing and set both of these parts aside. Now that the wet end has been removed and disassembled, the drive end can be disassembled. You can either access the set screws that hold the drive magnet assembly to the motor shaft through the hole in the bracket, or first remove the bracket from the motor. Let's do the latter. Use a 9 16th inch wrench to loosen the four screws, remove the screws, then separate the bracket from the motor. Next, Use a 1 8 inch hex key to loosen the two set screws that hold the drive magnet assembly to the motor shaft. You don't have to completely remove the set screws. Just back them out a few turns and then pull the drive magnet assembly off the motor shaft. The motor itself is not user serviceable and should not be disassembled. If any issues are found with the motor, it should be returned to the factory for inspection. This concludes the instructions on disassembling the March Series 7 pump. 